everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank, and today we are checking out how to set your exposure using the Panasonic Varicam. We've got the Varicam LT here. We're going to be in log mode, which is going to capture the full dynamic range off the sensor. And we're going to look at the tools built into the camera to get the most out of our exposures. Right over my shoulder here is an 18% gray card on our focus chart. There you can see it. And I put that in there to show the first feature called false color that we're going to use to set an exposure. The values that we need to know for V-Log are 42 and 61. 42 being the 18% reflectance value in IRE and 61 being our 90% reflectance value. With false color, using those color codes of this chart, I can see that 18% uh, proper exposure for 18% is going to show up as a green overlay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close down the iris on my lens here. And as I start closing down, notice I start getting a color shift. And as I get to about T4, there you go, pretty much filled the screen, a little bit of shadow for me hitting the 18% gray card right now, but you can see that mostly it is uh, illuminated with this green overlay. And what that is telling us is that now this is the proper exposure for our 18%. Now, that's great if we have some reference point for 18% or if we wanna just see middle gray, but I'm gonna do a slightly different setup now so we can see skin tones. For this example, I have replaced an 18% gray card with a human being. So here is Christy, and I'm gonna step out of her light for a second, and I'm going to turn on user one button. There's our false color, and you can see me moving around a little bit with the uh, shadow there. But you can see the light falling on her right now, and for the most part, she is green. So we have an acceptable exposure for a log. I'm gonna open up just a little bit, and when I do that, you see I start to get a little bit of pink attributes on her forehead. Uh, and that is showing me uh, the attributes I'd want to see for her skin tone. So this is giving me a very fast and easy way to judge exposure. And what we'll do is I'll do a uh, cutaway of this and you can see uh, her exposure after it's timed at these two different stops. The next tool in the toolkit we're going to use to uh, judge exposure is to use something called YGET, Y standing for luminance. So this is a spot meter. It activates itself in the center of the crosshairs in the viewfinder, and I'm going to use it as a spot meter. It's going to tell me what the reflective value in that section is, and I have put it on an assignable button. I put it on assignable button number two. So I'm going to cut to a close-up of my uh, monitor here, and we can see it in action. This is the LCD monitor that you're looking at on the Varicam, and I'm going to turn on the YGET. It's going to populate right here. See the crosshair right here on my uh, screen? And I'm going to push button number two, user two, and that will turn on the YGET. And there you go, get a little circle in the center, and you'll notice that it says zero stops, 0.0, .0 stops. If I go and I change my iris, you're going to see how many stops under or over I could be on my exposure. So I'm going to take it down to zero. And there you go. And I'm going to, I keep moving around so it keeps changing. Let's see, okay. So I'm going to turn on false color. I have that on a sign number one. And sure enough, there it is. Perfect exposure for 18% gray in V-Log. Last but not least, I have opened up and uh, put my waveform on the viewfinder, and as you can see on the lower right-hand side, and I've opened up this lens almost all the way, and I'm going to close down, remembering I'm going to remember my values, the 18% for V-Log being 42 IRE, and my 90% reflectance being 61. And I'm going to just bring this down. There's my 50 IRE right there. And I'm just gonna open it up a little bit more and 
The nice thing about the waveform is that it gives me uh, a visual representation of the full range of luminance that I'm seeing. So I can really go in there and make sure that I have put as much light as safely possible onto that sensor to get the widest distribution or the widest sampling of luminance. That wraps up my look at how to set exposure with V-Log and the Panasonic Varicam. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.